the next function key is F5. Go to. Just press F5 from the keyboard. Then I will get a dialog box like this. And this one. Do you want to go to this uh, names? That's a range which we have already selected here. Or if we need to go to any particular cell. Just click on this reference. Uh, I, I will just press G2. Then press OK. So it will directly go to this cell. The next function key is F6. Move to the next pin. If I am pressing F6 from my keyboard, So the, my cursor is in this area right now. I will press F6 right now. My taskbar, this is the taskbar, it will get highlighted. If I am pressing again F6, it will go on the top. Say this, like this. Again if we are pressing F6, it will come here. Again if we are pressing again, it will highlight here. The next function key is F7. Spell check. In this sheet, if we need to know or if we need to check the spelling, so just press F7. So it will ask, do you want to continue checking at the beginning of the sheet? Just click yes. So if we need to change this one, this name, so if we need to change, we can just change it here and according to that, this name, it will appear, this spelling, it will appear here. Change. Click on OK. Like that, if we need, we can change all the names according to the spelling. The next function key is F8. Extend a selection. If we need to select some areas, so without using our mouse, we can just press F8 and with the arrow key we can just select like this. And we can just copy or we can just uh, make as bold or we can just paste it here like that I will show one more example if I need to select the entire area so just click F8 from our keyboard F8 then with the help of arrow key we can just select like this and we can just change the color like this we can do the next function key is F9 calculate all sheets in all open workbook if we need to calculate the sum from this cell to this cell press alt equals then press enter so I got the answer as 31,500 so if I'm changing the amount from 6,000 to 7,000 so if I'm changing here obviously the total has to be changed so it, it has to be 32,500 if I'm changing here 6000 to 7000 I'm just changing here to 7000 but it is not changing the total is not changing or if I'm just putting here nine thousand five hundred see the total it is not changing what is the reason so 
I'll explain the reason why it is not changing. What we have to do is go to files, options, formulas. See this, it is showing as manual. So each time it is uh, it is showing as manual. So each time whatever we are updating here in this cell, after updating this, we have to press F9. Then only the total it will change. Else, otherwise we can just change as automatic. So the this total it will change right now. We are clicking automatic and press OK. Right now it is 31,500. After clicking OK, it will change. Say this, it has changed. So if you are changing it again to manual, okay. So if we are changing this one, 7,000 to 8,000, if we are just changing 8,000, so the same the total it will not change because after updating this 8000 then we have to press f9 then only the total it will change right now it is 7000 change to 8000 so the total amount it is not changing see this the total amount we can see here 34,000 after pressing F9 it will change I have pressed F9 so the total amount it has changed so the next function key is F10 the active activate our menu bar just open the excel and press f10 from the keyboard so the menu bar it will active so we can see like this fhn it will be active if you need to go to file just press f so we can go to the file options and the options it will appear same like home same like if you are clicking on N, insert, we can insert the details there. Like the enter thing we can do. Formulas, data, uh, data uh, review and view. The next function key is F11. Create a chart. For an example, in this one. If we need to make a chart for these data, select this area and just press F11. So by default the chart will appear like this. And the last function key is F12. Save us. So just open the excel sheet and just press F12 from the keyboard. So we can just save the data what we have done till now. In desktop, excel1, save. So try to remember all these details thank you for watching my channel